Hey guys, today we talk about Sean Weatherspoon's Air Max 97.1. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cost Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, Sean Weatherspoon's Nike Air Max 97 One. Hey daughter, what's up? Yo, so Daddy Duties, Lil wanted to join me real quick, so here we go. So on March 26th, Sean Weatherspoon sneakers dropped and I tried to cop online, I tried to cop through raffles, and I miserably failed. But thankfully, my my wife had entered some raffles and was, you know, able to cop these sneakers through a raffle in a local sneaker boutique. So um, I'm thankful she was able to do this. Hey guys, it's Sam. I got my raffle picked for the Air Maxes for Zoe, so I'm on my way to go get them now. I'm sure a review is coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, do I like these sneakers? Like I said in previous videos, I wasn't a major fan of the Sean Weatherspoon sneakers. I got them in hand and I, I thought that maybe if I got them in hand, you know, that would change my opinion. I like the silhouette. I totally like the silhouette, but I just can't vibe with the colors. That's, that's my thing. And again, no disrespect to Sean Weatherspoon. He did his thing, but for me, the colors just don't work with me. Like, they just don't suit me. And that's my opinion. So therefore, I'm gonna be selling these bad boys and trying to cop the Animal 2.095s because that's what I really wanted. So on the inside of the sneaker, you'll notice that it has that smiley face with the Nike swoosh, which I thought was a nice touch by Sean Weatherspoon. On the interior or the inner lining of the sneaker, you'll also see that it's made up of a yellow velvety color, which also is a dope touch to the sneaker. Going to the shoelaces and the tongue, you'll notice that the shoelaces are a rope shoelace, which is cool, and it comes with three additional colors in the white, the turquoise, and also the purple colorways, in addition to this yellow that's already in the sneaker. The tongue has a wave on the top of the sneaker, which is used to demarcate, you know, Sean's interest in waves and the sea, the beach, etc., etc. That also comes off to show you the Nike swoosh, which is also a dope touch. Has a little pull tab at the top as well, and the whole upper of the sneaker is covered in corduroy and has that traditional Air Max 97 silhouette where it has the track like pattern on the top. It also has a swoosh on the outer toe box of the sneaker and also has a swoosh on the medial and also the lateral portion of the sneaker. Dope touch overall. It has a variation of these corduroy colors on the top. The yellow, the gray, the pink, the turquoise, the purple, the green, and the brown. And also it has a pull tab at the heel of the sneaker which says from BA to LA which is a dope touch as well and it has a jeans like color to it. Now the midsole and the outsole of Sean Weatherspoon sneaker adopts the outsole and midsole of the Air Max 1 which we all know and love and quite frankly my favorite sneakers are the Air Max 1 and Air Max 97 so I like that the heat combined both of these sneakers. For the midsole it's a off-white or sail color midsole and in the air bubble you'll notice that it looks like a red pinkish kind of colorway. On the bottom you have those same colors of gray and also turquoise and also peach and yellow on the bottom with a traditional Nike Air on the bottom as well. Pricing wise these sneakers retailed for 160 in regards to sizing i would say go true to size or go a half size down when i did try these sneakers on there was a lot of room on the tip of the toe box for me and this was a size 13 usually in air max 97s i wear a size 13 and they fit me perfectly in air max ones i wear a 12 and a half and those fit me perfectly so i would say go true to size or go a half size down depending on how you want these to fit but again you might want to see if you have the plug or the hookup to try the shoes on first before you actually go out and buy them so my sneaker talk is up for today people please remember to like comment share and subscribe and hit that notification button for the one time more dope sneaker reviews coming your way 
Guys, I appreciate you for watching my video, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces. Okay, you want to say something?